Hi folks, my name is Adi Inka Grandson and I speak to you as the leader of the Young Yorubas for Freedom. We are affiliated to the Movement for Oduduwa Republic as well as Yoruba Liberation Command. As you may have been aware, we recently declared publicly for Oduduwa Republic. So I'm making this video to tell you that the Young Yoruba are no longer interested in restructuring of Nigeria. It is long gone. Since we have declared our support for Oduduwa Republic, and then this is a statement to the public to inform you about our four course of action that we're going to take publicly. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to remove and replace the name Muritala Muhammad International Airport back to its original name, Lagos International Airport. While well, observed, we, any visitor to Bamboni Le Yoruba, be it from North America, be it from Europe, Middle East, Asia, or any other African countries, Tobacco Code Day, Port of Entry, Yoruba land. There is one name to our significance to Ma, Ma Kokobo, Muritala Muhammad. Muritala Muhammad is a Fulani name. This has a spiritual connotation on the rest of the Yoruba nation. Because Oruko to Ma Kokobo, it means that Yoruba land is a conquered territory. It has been conquered by the Fulani with that name. So when we built the airport, it was built with the revenue and income generated within Yoruba land. These are income from company income tax, personal income tax, withholding tax, excise duty, import duty, export duty, petroleum profit tax, stamp duties. These are many other taxes where what the Yoruba people contributed to build that airport. But the name was changed by the Fulani to Muritala Muhammad Airport. Because Oriburuku Lele signifies from Yoruba. Why don't she be on the international airport? Why don't she be near Alaf International Airport? Why is it not called Odudua International Airport? Why must it be the first name you hear when you come into Yoruba territory? It's a Fulani name. It simply means that we have a conquer territory. So the young Yorubas for freedom have changed back the name. To its original name, Lagos International Airport. So, what we're saying now is this I'm calling on all young Yoruba who believe in Oduduwa Republic. You do not need to be a member of our organization. You just need to take a course of action that shows that you are desired and you are determined to act and play your whole role in bringing about Oduduwa Republic that we so desire. So, you take these actions on behalf of the young Yoruba for freedom. So you can go to the international airport, bring down the signage. Anywhere you see Muritala Muhammad, you just remove it. Remove and replace it with Lagos International Airport. That is the first course of public actions we're going to do. You don't have to wait for our instructions. You don't have to wait to be our member. We don't have to do anything other than for you to take this course of action. We are going to remove that Muritala Muhammad name from our airport and we're going to revert it back to Lagos International here. But that is the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is this. We're going to remove and replace the name, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, back to its original name. Look, when you go to America, they don't call it American Stock Exchange. It is called New York Stock Exchange. It was established on the 17th of May, 1792, by 24 white American stockbrokers and merchants, after which they established this. It has been trading with that name for over 300 years. Why don't you remove Oruko and Consoni American Stock Exchange? Because white Americans who established stock exchange here and lower in government of America up to today. If you go to Britain, they don't call it British Stock Exchange. In 1761, it was established by 150 English who were stockbrokers and jobbers. They established it to buy and trade in shares. Because it was established by the English, they call it London Stock Exchange. It has remained so since 1761. And I'm going to tell you now, okay, on the 15th of September, 1960, young Yoruba youth who are agricultural merchant, produce merchant, and stock broker established the Lagos Stock Exchange. Uruko it was called Lagos Stock Exchange. It was changed in 1977 by the Fulani to the Nigerian Stock Exchange. So we are going to remove that name 
and replace it back with its original name, Lagos Stock Exchange. So what we are asking you to do, you don't need to wait for us to take action. You can take action as an individual, as long as you support Odudua Republic, as long as you are young and Yoruba. All you need to do is that you go to the stock exchange, bring down the name Nigeria from it, and replace it with Lagos Stock Exchange. That is the public action number two. The third public action we're going to take is that, you see, Awusa Fulani prided himself when, because the British colonial talks gave them power to rule over the Yoruba in 1960, after they have rigged the election of 1959. So they proud themselves that they are going to rule and control over the Yoruba nation. Amadou Bello specifically says something that he is going to deep the Quran into the Atlantic Oceans that belongs to the Yoruba people. So if you look at the road that leading to the Atlantic Ocean, Hongkweni Amadou Bello way, it is significant in the sense that the Fulani and Aousa are telling the Yoruba that we have colonized you because that is the road that is closest to the Atlantic Ocean. So now what the young Yoruba for freedom are now saying is that we are asking you, bring out your paint anywhere you see Amadou Bello way on that Victoria Island road. Paint it over and replace it with Fela's way. We have changed it to signify to the federal government that we are no longer asking for restructuring. All we want now is Odudua Republic. So we are asking you, any way at Ebatiri Amadou Bello way, paint it over, replace it with Fela's way. We are sending a signal to the Yawusa Fulani that the recent Yoruba youths are fearless, are smart, and determined to bring about change and we're using organized violence we are no longer using negotiation and then the fourth public actions we're going to do is that we are going to take yoruba ports and waterways this is going to be short it is going to be bloody and it's going to be brutish but at the end of the day we're going to achieve the same we have on good authority that the federal government is going to use evil evil soldiers in the nigerian armed forces and police as well as Aousa and Fulani, members of the Nigerian Armed Forces and Police. But we also have on good authority that the Yoruba in these organizations are not going to attack their fellow Yoruba citizens. That's a very good news. So what we are going to do now is this. When we eventually take over the Nigerian uh, Yoruba port from Aousa Fulani, from the federal government, if they attack us, we are going to do one thing, which is going to be very significant and it's going to be unique. We are going to contaminate, hear this, we are going to contaminate their hair with biological weapons. We are going to pollute their water with chemical weapons. So if Awusa Fulani soldiers and the Igbo soldier should kill any one member of our, of, of our organization, we will go to Awusa land. We are going to contaminate their hair. We are going to pollute their water. With chemical and biological weapon. Now, this is what we are asking the young Yoruba to do. We are appealing to you that to make a statement to the federal government of Nigeria that we do no longer want restructuring. We now want Odudua Republic. And then this is final. We are not motivated by Mandela, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela failed his people in the face of brutal killing of black in South Africa. Nelson Mandela preached no violence. He's dead today and long gone. But 85% of the wealth, 85% of the land in South Africa is still in the hand of the white South Africans. He failed. If you look at Martin Luther King Jr. in America, while white Americans were killing black, burning them, using them as slaves, Martin Luther King was protesting. He was using a non-violence approach. He is long gone. Today, white America are still humiliating the black American. Today in America, black America are still, are still being summarily killed by the white American police. So we are not motivated by these two black individuals because they are failures, believe you me. But we as young Yoruba youth, we are motivated by people like Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was the former prime minister of the Great Britain. In the face of outright violence from Hitler and from Nazi Germany, Wilson Churchill did not preach not violence. He rallied around his people, called them to harm, 
over 7 million English and others were killed. But at the end of the day, Winston Churchill was able to defeat and kill Hitler. Not only that, he defeated Nazi Germany. So we are motivated by people who are ready to sacrifice for the greatness of their people. Mandela did not sacrifice. You cannot preach non-violence in the face of violence. Martin Luther King did not sacrifice for his people. You cannot preach non-violence in the face of violence. We are not preaching non-violence. We are using organized violence because we do believe that the Awusa Fulani are ruthless, that the Awusa Fulani are violent, and the Awusa Fulani will stop at nothing to control the Yoruba nation. So we are going to use organized violence to establish Oduduwa Republic, to bring about the civilization that we so desire. So I'm asking young Yoruba, if you believe in Oduduwa Republic, you have to remove and replace the name Muritala Mohammed International Airport and return it back to its original name, the Lagos International Airport. If you are young and Yoruba who believed in Oduduwa Republic, you do not need to wait for orders. You have to remove and replace the name, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, back to its original name, the Lagos Stock Exchange. If you are Yoruba, young and who believe in Oduduwa Republic, you have to remove and replace the name Amodubelowe with Felasowe. These are Yoruba facilities. These are things within the Yoruba nation. You cannot see any facilities in Aousa Fulani land named after a Yoruba person. So we are asking you, the noble Yoruba youth, to do this. If you are Yoruba, young and you believe in Oduduwa Republic, we want you to take over the Yoruba port and waterways. If the Nigerian government, on the instructions of the Nigerian armed forces and the police, who have predominantly Aousa Fulani, as well as Igbo, should attack us in our homeland, we will go to their homeland as well, we are going to contaminate their hair with biological weapon. We are going to pollute their water with chemical weapon. And we are going to do this in the interest of our children, in the interest of our children yet unborn, and for the glory and greatness of Yoruba land. Ududua Agbewa, Asher.